I got interested in art because of Jurassic Park. I saw these monsters and these creatures and I'm like, somebody had to make those. They got paid to make those and they're warping my reality. I'm Mark Fitzsimmons. I'm an interdisciplinary artist. I graduated from RIMCAD in 2018 from Fine Arts. I just realized that I could do nothing else in my life but make art. It's the only thing I truly felt desired to do, so I decided to come back to school. RIMCAD gave me the space to experiment. All the instructors I had let me take not only what I wanted, but what I needed from whatever class I was in. So I would you know, kind of explain an idea, and they would either tell me, no, that's not enough, you need something more, or they would tell me, they're like, yeah, run with that. I had a, a studio in Spivak, which was a wonderful experience. It was always a nice little incubator for ideas and progressive ideas. I got room to not only pursue ideas in the classroom, but I also had room to be there until 10 o'clock at night, you know, getting weird. <laughs> Being interdisciplinary, I do work with a lot of mediums because I have to choose what best fits the content. If it requires an immersive installation that takes up an entire room to drive the point home, that's what I'll do. If it needs a two inch by two inch painting, that's what I'll do. When I make performance art, it's much easier to find empathy with a subject and with a content matter when you see somebody else specifically going through an action. So the performance piece, Hard Comforts, is where I get into my full combat uniform and then I start sewing pillows and creating pillows while I'm singing the uh, military's call and responses. And with that piece, I wanted to show people the kind of effects that we have as veterans that now we're, we're trying to live our life and we're trying to rebuild some sense of a familiarity and some sort of comfort in a world that has become wholly foreign to us. All of the work that I create, the seed of it completely comes from being a veteran and uh, this disconnect that not only I feel from being home, but also the disconnect people have from conflict. We have wars across the planet that we are involved in and the American people don't know it, don't understand it, and don't see it. The kind of conversations I want to spark is deep and meaningful without being shamed of my ignorances of their experience and their ignorances of my experience, but that we can discuss the distance between us because in reality there isn't much. My next professional steps are continuing to make art, continuing to curate shows here in Denver, but also I want to go get a master's degree. And with that master's degree, I'd love to teach at a college level and try and get others to uh, turn art into a conversation. My advice to young artists is that it's okay to not know anything. So don't be afraid of not knowing. That is the best part of school. And the best part of life is finding the answers.